What's up everybody, Joe with Joe's Cold Garage. I did a little video on this Lexus when I first got her in off the trailer out of uh, Hunt Huntsville? Nashville. Yeah, Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, bought online, side of the scene. Anyway, I've dropped a few hints that there is a um, issue with this car. Um, and, you know, when this thing came off the trailer, we were just amazed. I'm letting all the heat out of it because it's just been sitting out here baking. Um, how excited I was about it and its condition <laughs> because it is truly in phenomenal shape. I mean, the car is just, I mean, it's amazing. One owner bought New Year's Eve of 08. They probably got a deal on it since it was the last day of the year. A um, couple lived in S Strawberry Plains, Tennessee. And they took care of her, baby. She's got nice new Pirelli tires. But I'm going to try and show y'all what we could not see, of course, because we bought it online, sight unseen. But even if we would have been there and been able to drive it, I don't think we would have been able to catch this issue because, well, I'll try and show you. This is a cold, this is a cold start. It's been a few weeks. She runs good. Runs good. Turn thousand eight nineteen. I mean, she runs good. Good lord, she runs good. Uh, it's time for an alignment. <laughs> Got my contact info. That's pretty cool how Lexus does that with their uh, service reminders. Okay, let's get some temperature down. I mean, come on, it's hot outside. That thing set on 75 degrees. Good grief. All right, let's see. Cool. All right, let's go for a little ride and let me see if I can. There's where she was serviced. Lexus and Knoxville. Always, all service history. I love that, man. That's nice. Even got a half a tank of gas. That, that's $100. Because you know it's premium, or it should be at least. All right, sunshade up. Always sunshade up. There we go. All right, let's see if we can get this thing to do, do something here. I mean, this thing literally feels like brand new, brand new. The steering wheel has no cracks. Anybody has or knows anything about a Lexus, even the best ones and the best kept ones, the, the wood steering wheel, it cracks. It just starts cracking, you know. Uh, this one, none, none. This car never sat out in the sun. My mom's 06, I think, is probably one of the finest used Lexus out there as far as maintenance and being well kept. But it has only led a, say, 50-50 garage life, you know. Um, and now her steering wheel shows that. It is cracked. All, just hairline, just cracks all over it. Um, yeah, but this one has none, none. Uh, someone told me my windshield wipers were in some sort of, uh, uh, said they were in, not the, what was that, the, not the park position, or I guess the position for changing the blades, and I don't know how to resolve that or fix it. I need to YouTube that and find that in settings. Okay, let's see if we can get something here. Manumatic mode. 
okay, fourth gear. The fourth to fifth shift, no good, no bueno. Still no bueno. There we go. So, she shifts perfect through about the first three gears. And then somewhere along the line, she loses it. Just free revving. If you use the manual mode, it usually works better. Uh, and it'll go on into six gear and everything's fine. You can drive on the interstate, set the cruise on 80, and you can go wherever you want to go. Uh, just make sure you got it flopped over here to where it's locked in sixth. Uh, so we got a problem, unfortunately, with the transmission in this car, which I am so shocked and so surprised. I mean, I literally, I just can't believe it. Um, especially as well maintained as this car was. Um, but you know, a lot of times if you dealer service your Lexus, they don't always change the transmission. There it goes, fourth, yep, just free revving. They won't uh, service a transmission. They just won't do it. Um, and I think that's stupid. That's like, I mean, how freaking stupid service the transmission. So I was pouring over the Carfax on this car and it seemed like I found one transmission fluid service. So that's better than none still. But anyway, you, I pulled the codes on this thing and uh, it's got some bad, uh, it's got some bad solenoids in it. Um, I think it's solenoid C and D are bad. So the fun part is, is trying to find someone to work on it. No shop wants to touch a transmission no, to begin with. That's the number one problem. They don't want to fuck with them at all. Number two is finding somebody that'll go in there and just work on a transmission. They ain't gonna do that either. So we've got a good, pretty good feeling, unless I can find one of my shade tree guys, which I know some guys, and they're good. Um, you know, I'll pay them and they'll come and they'll fix it. And you know, it'll probably be just fine. But I think my brother and I are going to try and take a stab at this one ourselves. Yes, you heard me right. <laughs> we have access to a lift. We are just waiting for cooler weather. We are in no hurry to sell this car. Get, you know, this car is so nice. Um, we've got a really good feeling that someone within our herd is going to end up with this car, whether it be me, whether it be my brother, um, one of my kids, one of his kids, um, a family member, whatever, a good friend, you know, so we're not in a big hurry to sell it. And so therefore we're not in a huge hurry about getting it fixed. Um, so we'll get around to it when we get to it. You know? Um, so right now, yeah, it won't upshift to fifth unless I manually make it, make it do so. All right. And I'm just kind of toggling back and forth from automatic mode to manual mode because automatic mode works fine, you know, gears one, two, three. Uh, it's only when it gets up to fourth, you got to start manually manipulating the transmission. So, yeah, that's what's wrong with her, guys. Um, but gosh, she sure does drive good, though, other than that. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That's crazy as hell. Okay. There we go. She got stuck and went up shift. I just passed by shop we normally use, and um, they're closing at the end of the month. He's decided to retire. Just, yep, yeah, he's closing. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me, man? 
<laughs> Don't do this to me, please. I need you right now. So, yeah, it looks like, yeah, right now it's stuck in fourth. I can't get it to go past fourth. So we'll just leave it right there. So I don't know if I could drive it on the interstate right now or not. It might eventually fall into six gear, but right now it's not doing it manually. So anywho, uh, we're gonna turn her around up here. I'm gonna head back to the shop. Over here in Goon Squad territory. Oh, the hateful post that people, oh, so bad at me for exposing where their shop is. I mean, people, it's on freaking Google Maps. I mean, it's on Google Maps. Fuck, I mean, you know, eat my anus, all right? It's on Google Maps. All you gotta do is type it in and you can find it yourself. So, update on the 08 ES350 with 200K, the minty, minty, minty Lexus with a fatal, fatal flaw. Oh, man, she's fatal. <laughs> It don't get any worse than this right here, folks. <laughs> uh, so anyway, like, comment, subscribe. I'll keep uh, updates and posts on this car as, you know, as need be. Um, you know, if it's been two or three months and you don't see anything, that doesn't mean, you know, we sold it or did something with it. That just means it's still sitting at the shop. We're not doing, we haven't done a thing. So, but um, I wanted to at least share that, and I would I'd appreciate some comments. Uh, who knew that this transmission even had? You know, I thought this thing was bulletproof, man, made out of Kevlar. I didn't think these transmissions messed up. Had no idea. Didn't know there were ever any problems with these transmissions. But hey, you know, I guess like anything. It can happen. Yeah, right now I can't get it to go past fourth. Yeah, it's just stuck there. Anyway, will y'all have a good day? Like, comment, subscribe. Throw a comment down there. Talk to me about this transmission. Six-speed automatic. I, I remembered what it was called. It has an E in it, I believe. Two GFE something. I don't know. Maybe that's the engine. But uh, we'll see you with the next one. Y'all have a good one. Peace.